Martell is wrote a letter. He has given um, on network an ultimatum. Either you film my real life or don't film me at all. Also in that letter, he was debunking the fact that he wanted Melody again. He debunked that, y'all. And he also made his statement that I thought was odd is that Melody accused him of abuse then turned around and made money off of it. <laughs> she made a hoodie. So Melody in her confession have always said that Martell, uh, anytime she's successful, he gets mad. Anyway, that's just going on, y'all. That's good. She put it something like that. That was not her exact word, but that's what it means. This is by Urban Bell, you guys. It's unlikely Martell, Hoax, and Melody Cherie will ever be on good terms again. Love and Marriage Huntsville star Melody Cherie and Martell, Hoax, nasty divorce is still playing out, out and off on the show. As we reported, Melody thought she and Martell were on good terms when she invited him on her family vacation a year ago. However, Nick, not too long after Martell surprised her by dragging her to court for full custody. At that time, Martell alleged that he didn't want Melody Gay brother Marcus Menefield to babysit their children. He also accused Melody of having 20 
different babysitter. In the end, the judge decided that they each would keep it remains joint custody in place. Interesting enough, Martel and Melody legal problems may not be over just yet. Months ago, a woman alleged that she had some type of friendship with Martel former mistress, Arian Curry. And Arian allegedly told her that Martel asked her to leak a video of him and Melody being intimate while uh, they were still married. The woman alleged that she told Arian not to do this. She then backed away from the friendship. Melody took the accusation serious. She did an Instagram live session and explained why. Oh, so this is coming out of Love and Mary Huntsville Gospel Group. This is when Martel called himself clapping at, at DJ Ricky Sky. Yo, he's wild, laugh out loud. Just last episode, he was screaming at Miss Neil about, mm, never mind, let me mind my business. Martel said at Ricky Sky, no, you wild. This fake narrative, they're pushing as well. Plus, yes, mind your business. And Nell should have did the same. See what else they're saying here. Andrea uh, Th uh, Thompson said, I mean, how would anyone feel if people were in their business? It does sound annoying, but he should play the game. Once people talk about your business, just start talking about theirs. Watch how defensive they get. Or how quiet they get. Yeah, she's right about that. Patricia Burst say, I get the narrative about the flowers being Carlos' idea. And sometimes Martel was not being on doing. Uh, sometimes Martel was not keen on doing. I'll pay. Be pissed off at how that played out. However... I mean, he's pissed off at how that played out. However, his statement to Mel about not knowing his team had the effect it did on their marriage was... Yeah, he, he, he's stupid if he didn't know. Was out of left field, and that's on him. I tell Hoax, you know, is saying, I don't want her back. This scene is me playing team ball. I was asked to meet with Melody and Carlos called me after me, telling the other producer I'm not taking her flowers. She got me in court saying I'm abusing my kids. Or are you? Or is that what the court said? That's what your son say. Now, she has merchandise saying she's against abuse. Now, I'm going to stop it right there. That's what's bothering him is her being successful, you guys. She had merchandise uh, saying she's against abuse has, has literally uh, made him mad because she's able to capitalize off of everything. And that's what he's mad about. He wants part of that. Let me in on it, on your money, making you supposed to hand this money over to me. She tried to get me. Carlos bid me to take her flowers. Talking about the hoax need to take the show back. Now, you've always gave this woman flowers. Carlos ain't never had to bid you. You just gave her ten dozen of roses. Yeah. As far as the host H O L T S, you're the only host, so I don't know what Carlos is talking about. But my only question was, y'all talk with Melody? The answer was yes, so he agreed, y'all. So I was down. But just like you were delusional about Safari wanting you back, I guess he talking to Erica Menendez because Erica Menendez has made a comment about how she liked it. Melody. Also, uh, 
the DJ Richie Sky, I think he disrespected DJ Richie Sky. He made a comment after this post, y'all. Y'all read it earlier. And then uh, Montero fired back at him. But anyway, I just said, but just like you were delusional about Sapphira wanting you back, it's the same over here. The frustration you see on my face is, is, is her not doing what the producer said she was going to do. See, he liked to be in control. Melody, you supposed to cover me, protect me. You supposed to make me look good. You messing up my image, Melody. You didn't do what the producer said you was going to do. Or you don't do what I say you supposed to do. All this is definitely for TV. We're actors. Okay, go ahead on it. You definitely not acting here in Melody, but we do know who the actors are on the TV show. I might be getting a phone call to fire me after this comment now. Carlos, he called you out, Carlos. Sorry, but you guys are not going to continue to villainize me. Oh, you do everything that that's on this internet. You doing it. that that uh, erratic behavior you got in that kitchen in Houston? You did that. That erratic behavior you had on each trip that you go to with these people. You did that. That erratic behavior you had uh, behind the scene, uh, behind the scene, behind the stage at the reunion. You did that. That erratic, violent behavior that you had towards male makeup artists, you did that. That erratic decision you made just to um, over $40 million, all them acres of land that you could have been set for generational wealth, you messed up. You did that. That And, and also, the decision to keep Big Bug in your life, you made that. So don't put it off on nobody else. But let me start it right all over again. I got carried away, y'all. I might be getting a phone call to fire me after this comment. Sorry, but you guys are not going to continue to villainize me. Make me quit to be, make me out to be an abuser. Ooh, a stalker. Ooh, or make it, it seems like I want Melody back. I'm done with y'all making me quit out out to be something I'm not. Feel my real life or don't feel me at all. Talking to you on network. Talking to you, Kingdom Rain. Talk to you, Carlos Kingdom. How do a person, an employee, get to have that much power over his boss? Carlos, he's threatening to you that I think everybody brings. Everybody's life isn't excite, as exciting as the next person. You know, on our show, it's funny because they yeah. talk about um, the storylines. Marshall and Tisha talking about infidelity for five years, but nobody got no proof of it, and we're still talking about it. They're tired of talking about it. They talked about, you know, Mel Martell getting a divorce, you know, that kind of thing. So they'll verbalize what they're tired of. However, when there is some reality, that's boring. <laughs> they don't want that either. I just think like a lot of people say we don't want drama, but then when you don't have drama, you think it's boring. I literally wanted to do a post one day and say, y'all tell me what y'all think of storyline. Because I don't get it sometimes. Like when I say <laughs> I don't get it, I honestly don't get it. It's like you say you don't want fighting and stuff, but unless they fight, you act like it's nothing going on. Whereas I could give you a dozen things that Maurice and Kimmy did from season one till now. And yet people will say we bring nothing to the show. Watch the full video. Make sure you go to my YouTube. So this is at the Carlos King. Let's see what he's saying. Kimmy addresses some fans wanting the Scott foul. All right, full conversation on my YouTube channel. Let's move on down. Janice said, you don't get it. Training Wheels Detroit said, what the F does Kimmy and Maurice do? 
like we've never seen them do business in six years. All Kimmy do is go around having lunch dates with the cast and talking about each other and Maurice walk around in suits. If uh, he's an attorney, why are we not seeing him meet with clients? I ain't confused as to why they are still on the show. What are they giving? Oh, my bad. Kimmy Libido is gone. Uh, like we effin care, and Maurice wants to pound on her two to three times a day. Oh, ho, ho. that's all. MZ Marty said, what's so difficult for her to understand? Yes, bills get exhausted with the constant conflict, bickering, and arguing, but they don't want boring. There is a way to have a reality show without fussing and cussing all the time and uh, and not fall asleep. It's not complicated. Denise, it shouldn't be that hard to comprehend that bills are saying that your libido isn't the total sum of your your reality. Your cancer journey, real estate and nursing, your business, family dynamic could all be topics for a story, for a storyline. There are things, uh, there are just things you can do and run with it. I just made the rest of it up, you guys. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. This is the Carlos King's new video reality with the King. Tight, tiny, hit that like button, share, and subscribe.